اللهم صل وسلم على نبينا محمد الحمد لله رب العالمين with the mercy and blessing of Allah سبحانه وتعالى today we are going to look at the amazing matters of a believer in our hadith of the day session the question is am i a believer how do we define a believer is the question a believer is one who has iman and faith makes everything possible Does anybody know the six pillars of iman? Hmm? That I hmm? I believe number 1 in Allah. Believe in the books, very good. What else? Angels, the messengers, the prophets sent by Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala, the day of judgment and in the qadar of Allah which is a divine decree. Amantu billahi wa malaikatihi wa kutubihi wa rusulihi wal qadri khayrihi wa sharrihi min Allah ta'ala wal ba'thi ba'd al mawt So alhamdulillah if I want to benefit from this hadith I need to ask myself what is my iman level all right do I qualify to be known as a believer right i'm a believer i believe you know um and belief will make your journey so much worthwhile subhanallah why because we see in the words of wisdom the words of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in this hadith an abi sa'id al khudri radiyallahu anhu qala qala rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam ما من شيء يصيب المؤمن من نسب ولا حزن ولا وصب حتى الحم يهمه الا يكفر الله به عنه سيئاته ابو سعيد الخدري رضي الله عنه narrated that rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said nothing affects the believer you know this word al mu'min go ahead and write your own name there inshallah allahumma zayyanna bi zinat al iman may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have us have iman and may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us qualify for this inshallah so uh, so what happens nothing afflicts a believer whether number 1 fatigue number 2 grief or number 3 is disease and number 4 even a worry that concerns him except that by it allah subhanahu wa ta'ala removes something from his bad deeds subhanallah this is in jamia tirbi 966 what comes to our mind when we look at this hadith of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam what comes to our mind hmm that anything you know any ha- anything happens from nasab or hazan like sadness grief or wasab or even a you know a worry that you think that how is this going to happen what am i going to do that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is removing bad deeds from our account subhanallah so this is an amazing matter of a believer and it's a huge mercy of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he made us muslims may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us realize that i need to read the quran and i need to charge my iman so that i can benefit from the glad tidings of this hadith inshallah so what do i need to do i need to think and reflect i need to learn rise and shine there is is a dua that can help us you know increasing our iman allahumma habbib ilaina al iman wa zayyinhu fi qulubina wa qarih ilaina al kufra wal fusuq wal isyan wa ja'alna min ar rashidin o allah make our faith beloved to us you know people like different things allah make me love my iman make make this like my key quality that i have iman i have faith in allah and beautify it in our hearts you know decorate zayyin who is like you know be making it beautiful and make hateful to us disbelief opposite of iman is what kufr so make it you know make it hateful for me to go back to it and wickedness and disobedience and make us of the rightly guided amin ya rabbal alamin so with that mindset inshallah looking at this hadith again 
remember that nothing affects us but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has khair for us in, in, a, in it for us so even if there is sometimes we feel worried there is anxiety we feel like overwhelmed remember that illa yukaffiru Allahu bihi anhu sayyatihi Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is removing something from our bad deeds because of that inshallah all I need to worry is that my iman where is my iman level that's where I need to focus and the more I read the more I succeed the more I educate myself with Quran and Sunnah the more my iman strengthens so keep calm and carry on let us do that subhanak allahumma wa bihamdi nashadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk keep each other in your precious duas jazakumullah khair assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu